In this quick guide, I want to show you how to disable and then re-enable the Wi-Fi on your Asus router. And also, I'm going to show you how you can create a schedule for this so that to automate this task. In my example, I'll be using the Asus router RTAXE 7800, but the instructions I'm going to show you apply to almost all Asus routers. So let me first log into the Asus router admin page and show you this. To log into the Asus admin page, open any web browser and then put in the URL asusrouter.com and hit enter. You'll be redirected to the admin page. It is not HTTPS. This is why you get this message. Simply click on continue to site and here log in using the admin credentials to log in to your Asus admin page. The method I'm going to show you first is by using the software here under advanced settings. So scroll until you find on the left advanced settings and then click on wireless under it and here you have a tab called professional so click on it and notice that you have the wireless in the asus router admin page that is divided by the bands so my router has three bands 2.4 5 gigahertz and then 6 gigahertz so if you choose here the drop down list you see that you have the three bands so you need to do this to each band you want to disable the Wi-Fi on. So this is the 2.4 GHz band. You have under it directly here something called enable radio. And by default, it is yes. Just select no here and then scroll down and then click on apply. And you'll get this message in case you're using a mesh system and you disable any of the Wi-Fi radios. The mesh system will not work anymore. So click on OK here and wait for the router to apply the settings. And now we disable the Wi-Fi on the 2.4 GHz band. If you want to disable it on all the bands, you need to choose each band and repeat the same thing. And here I'm going to show you how to re-enable it while selecting the band that is disabled. Also under Enable Radio, click on the Yes so that to enable the radio. And don't forget to click on Apply. So this was the first method. So for the second method, I'm going to show you how to reassign the WPS button on your router so that it will work as the Wi-Fi toggle mode. So always under advanced settings, you need to go to administration. So click on administration and then click on system and scroll until you find WPS. So you see here you have the WPS button behavior and you can assign the behavior for this button to three things either keep it for WPS or assign it to turn off the LED lights on the router or assign it to toggle the radio off and on. So this is what we're going to do here. So I'm going to select toggle radio and then I'm going to scroll and click on apply and wait for the router to apply the settings. And the good thing about this method is that this button will turn off the Wi-Fi for the three bands so you don't have to do it for each band. So let me show you how it works. This is my Asus router AXE7800 and notice the LED lights here on the front and this is the Wi-Fi for the LED lights. It means that they are enabled and this is the WPS button on the bottom of the router. So when I press the button for one second, notice how the LED lights will turn off and now there is no more Wi-Fi on the router. And to turn them back on also, you need to press the WPS button for one second. And here they are enabled once again. By the way, if you're liking this video so far, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. This will greatly help my channel. The third way I'm going to show you on how to disable and then enable the Wi-Fi is by automating it with a Wi-Fi schedule. In your Asus router admin page, on the left, always under advanced settings, click on wireless and then click on professional. And to enable a Wi-Fi schedule, you need to enable it for each band. I'm going to show you how to do it on the 5 GHz band and feel free to do it on the three bands. So for the enable wireless scheduler option here to be visible, the enable radio should be on yes. So under enable wireless scheduler, click on yes and then click on time scheduling. And this is the schedule that will appear in front of you. So it is empty. It means that the Wi-Fi is open all the time. To add a schedule, you need to click on the plus sign on the top here. And then you need to choose the start time on when you want the Wi-Fi to turn off and then the end time. So I'm going to do it, let's say from 7 p.m., which is 1900 hours. 
and I'm gonna end the curfew time. Let's say, let's call it curfew time at seven in the morning. So this is seven a.m. And after you choose the time, you need to choose the days that this time will apply to. So I'm gonna apply it to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I'm gonna click on finish. And you notice here that everything in orange is when the Wi-Fi will be turned off for the five gigahertz band. Now, if you wanna adjust it, you can adjust it here simply by selecting it and then by dragging it left or right. And you, if you click on it also, you can edit it and you can remove it. Like for instance, you can delete it and so on and so forth. Now I'm gonna create a schedule for the weekend that is a little bit more lenient. So it's gonna be starting at eight instead of 7 p.m. And it's gonna end at 8 in the morning instead of 7 a.m. And I'm gonna apply it to Friday and Saturday only. And click on finish. After you create your schedule, don't forget to click on apply. Now, an important setting that I wanna show you is that if you want to temporarily disable the schedule without deleting it, you need to press on this icon here. And then you have the toggle button for each schedule that you create. So if you want to disable the schedule for Friday and Saturday, simply toggle this button to off and then click on apply. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. And if you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you on the next video.